So you're going to Korea. Well, at least you're hoping to go, but you don't know where to begin. Watch the five steps on how to ace your epic So of course, I've got my handy dandy note here to help me stay on track with our five tips. So let's see, our five tips today are going to be number one, check your appearance. Number two, check your setup. Number three, prep slash research. Number four, be confident. And number five, be grateful and proud of your opportunity. All right, so let's start at the top with number one. All right, so you need to know your audience. Of course, if you're applying to a job in South Korea, they care about appearance and so should you. So when you're going into this interview, make sure you put in all of your effort to look your best. For me, this shirt, I wouldn't even wear for the interview. It, sh it shows too much dress, in my opinion, for this interview. So make sure you are wearing a shirt that is very conservative, covers your shoulders, covers your chest. If you're a lady and if you're a guy, make sure you're not showing too much skin. Uh, if you are a woman, make sure you put on a little bit of makeup. Make sure your skin looks nice. Of course, you don't have to go full eye glam like I am for my actual interview. Interview I had on just brown and gold eyeshadows, so something really pretty but also natural. Uh, make sure your hair is well groomed, and this goes for girls and guys. So just make sure for your interview, first step in acing it is looking your best. And if you show up to this interview and you've just rolled out of bed because it's at 2 a.m. where you are, and you think you're just going to throw on a wrinkled, you know, a wrinkled button-up shirt and you know, splot some powder on your face and just show up looking a hot mess, and you don't get in, well, you didn't put in enough effort. Take the time and make sure from the beginning you look your best. It's really important. First impression is everything, and you only get one. So why wouldn't you want to make sure you look your best for your epic? Yeah. So even with me, I'm wearing pajama shorts right now. So you don't have to go all out, put on a full dress. Just make sure your top part is nice, you're conservative, your face looks pretty, and your hair looks as nice as it possibly can. Okay? So just look your best. And that's just my advice for number one. Dos. All right, so number two is really simple. Check your setup. Don't wait till five minutes before your interview to make sure you have a setup. Have a nice, simple background. A white wall will do the trick. Make sure you know what camera you're going to be using, what your lighting going to be like. If your appointment or if your interview is in your time in the middle of the night or early in the morning when there's going to be no natural sunlight, make sure you think about that in advance. Do you need to make sure you have extra lamps in your room, some studio lighting? I don't know, but just make sure you think beforehand so you don't have this dark, creepy interview. Also, know what is going to be the best camera that you're going to use. For me, I have a laptop that has a camera on it, and that camera is really, really bad. So I used my tablet, my iPad, camera because it's a lot better for video chatting and is a lot clearer than that fuzzy camera on my laptop. So make sure you think about these things beforehand so that you can have the best quality image during your video chat interview. Okay? Okay? Also make sure that in the background you don't have a lot of junk or a lot of stuff. Make sure it's clean. There won't be any things there to distract your interviewer. Um, in the background or any dogs barking, any people talking. So just make sure everyone in your house knows beforehand that you're going to have this interview so that there are no distractions, okay? Also, make sure you have with you a set of earphones just in case you have problems hearing them or they're too quiet. You don't have to like leave in the middle of the interview and say, oh, one second, let me go find my earphones. No, have them right next to you or have them already plugged in just in case so that you don't have any issues, okay? Better to be prepared. Okay, and so number three is going to be doing your prep work and your research. Now, for your interview, you are going to want to print out your application. Print out your application as soon as you get the interview, saying that you have the interview so that you don't forget. The worst thing that could possibly happen is your interview time to come and you think, oh my god, I never printed my application so print it out as soon as possible print out two copies leave one in your room one somewhere else so that you are 
ready for your interview. Now, make sure prior to your interview, you reread your application. Chances are it's been four weeks since you've submitted it, if not more, you know, maybe less, but you probably don't remember all of the details of the things that you wrote. So make sure you give it a view over. With your research, make sure you are researching everything possible. If you have not read every page of the epic episode, epic episode, if you have not read every page of the epic website, have you even attempted to prepare? Have you not watched every episode, every video on YouTube, have you even attempted to prepare? If you have not read every vlog on the internet, have you even attempted to prepare? Do your research. Don't be lazy. Read and watch and learn as much information as you can prior to this interview. Now, don't get me wrong. The interview isn't super hard. It's not like, you know, this crazy, obscure thing. But everyone's experience is going to be a bit different. So if you do all the research you possibly can, there will be no surprises. Any question they ask, um, any information they want to know from you, you will have an, inter an answer because you've done all of the necessary steps. Okay? Also, when preparing for this interview, you want to have a look at all of the possible questions they can ask. So I'm going to insert, you know, maybe a clip or something in this video with a list of possible questions that you should be looking at and preparing answers for. Now, when I insert this clip or this, you know, the picture or whatever I'm going to insert of the questions, don't just read them and think, okay, I can do that. No, you need to look at these questions and write them down one by one, write them down. And then you need to write down an answer for every single question. Now, this might seem like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But this is how you properly prepare for this interview. So regardless of what question they ask you, you've already got a really concise and well put together answer for it. Okay, now during your interview, of course, you can't pull out your, you know, your, your writing, your, your notes and just read word for word. But what you can do is prepare your answers in advance. And then a few hours before your interview, reread your answers and highlight keywords and key phrases. Okay? So that way your answers are fresh and you know what you're talking about. This also goes for reviewing your lesson plan and reviewing the, your essay questions that you put in your interview. Just highlight keywords and key phrases so that if they ask you about, you know, your teaching philosophy, all you have to do is quickly glance down, see, oh, I use this word, this word, this word, and elaborate further. Okay, when you're answering these essay questions, also make sure that you are not giving one word or one sentence answers. This is your chance to sell yourself. So do the best job that you can. How will you handle classes that consist of varied English skills and capabilities? Why are you interested in teaching? Why have you chosen to teach in Korea? How will I manage my time with the kids? What is your five-year plan, 10-year plan? How will you deal with troublesome children? How will you deal with constructive criticism from your co-teachers? How will you keep your students motivated and interested in English? Do you have any knowledge about the Korean education system? What types of students do you think you could teach most effectively and why? What measures are you taking to learn about Korean culture? Another good source of information for preparing for this interview and doing all of your research and prep is going to be looking at recruiter websites. So along with the Epic website, recruiter websites also have lots of good information and question tips and ideas and ways for you to prepare and, and just put yourself in the right mind frame for your interview. So if you need even more information, check out different recruiter websites for these tips. Okay, and I'll try to maybe put a link down here of one or two. Um, recruiter websites. All right. So we have looked at number one, which was your appearance. Number two, which was your setup. Number three, which was prep work and research. And so now we are on to number four. Number four is quite obvious. And that is be confident. Be confident. You have gotten this far. You have gotten the interview with Epic. This is a huge step. Don't throw it away by showing up for the interview nervous and afraid and acting like you don't know how to speak English anymore. 
you can do this. You have prepared, you have researched, you have prepped your appearance, you have prepped your setup, you have followed steps one, two, three. And if you have done steps one, two, and three, there's no reason why you shouldn't be confident going into this interview. Regardless of the feedback you are getting from your interviewer, put your best foot forward. Continue to smile and be happy and be positive and sell yourself and your experiences. Let's say your interviewer doesn't even look at you, gives you the questions kind of heads down, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Don't let that affect your mood. If your interviewer tells you to turn off your camera, it doesn't matter. Don't let that affect your quality of voice. Regardless of how your interviewer is acting and the feedback you're getting from them, even if you feel like, oh man, this guy hates me, don't give up. Stay positive, keep smiling, and do your best from the beginning of the interview until the very end. With this confidence, make sure you are also keeping in mind the reason for the interview. It's obvious, but you are here to be an English teacher. So if during your interview, you are talking five miles an hour and no one can really understand what you're saying and you're not really enunciating and da 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 it's going to be quite hard for them to justify giving you a job as an English teacher if their first impression of how you speak English is a little bit crazy or frantic. So even though your nerves might be getting to you, just relax, speak slowly and clearly, and you'll be fine. All right, we are almost finished. If you haven't yet, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos, of course. <laughs> but really, to step number to step number five, be proud of yourself and be grateful for this opportunity. How many people can say that they have even made it this far to be considered for a job or employment in another country, not alone amazing South Korea? You're very lucky. So be grateful for the opportunity, be proud of yourself, and know that regardless of the outcome of this interview, you have done all that you can to be qualified. You have done all that you can to prepare and you have worked really hard to get to where you are and that is an accomplishment in itself. Okay, so be proud of yourself. And along with being proud of yourself, be grateful for your opportunity and show your gratitude to your interviewer. People often forget that a simple thank you can go a long way. So before you hang up the, you know, the video call or the Skype chat with your interviewer, make sure in your own words to say thank you. Thank them for their time. Thank them for, you know, you know, taking time out of their busy schedule to speak to you. Thank them for all their help and all of their work, however you want to phrase that. And, you know, just leave the interview on a positive note. Something simple as, thank you so much for your time and this interview. I am really excited for the opportunity to possibly work in South Korea. A simple, amazing, last clincher sentence to end your interview on a positive note. So however you want you know, to end your interview, that's fine. But think about it beforehand. What is going to be my last clincher line to leave my interviewer with a smile, letting them know that I am thankful for their time and letting them know that I am confident in my ability as an English teacher. I hope this video was helpful to you in any way. I hope it gave you some tips, helped relieve your nerves in terms of preparing for the interview. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to get across that this is a job interview. You need to take it seriously. You need to prepare. And what will set you apart from the competition is how well the interviewer can see that you have prepared for this interview. So when you show up looking your best with the best backdrop, with your notes in your hand, with your interview, not your interview, with your application printed out and you're going page by page with the interview, walking along, walking along, working along, you have your pen ready, you're taking notes on your application as you go, your interviewer is going to see you and think, wow, they are really prepared. And you're going to think, yes, I am really prepared because I watched Amani Christine's YouTube videos. You're welcome. All right, ladies and gents, have a good day. Bye-bye.